Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beaming Drive, and this time I am doing a dirt track race in Grand Theft Auto 4 in Beaming Drive. That's certainly going to be interesting. I have no idea what this is going to look like. Let's find out. 137 checkpoints. Oh, they're like two feet away from each other. Okay. Uh huh. They gave me a boat. Why would they give me a boat? I can already tell right now, low low frame rate there. I can already tell right now that I might not want to finish this one. Though, unless it ends real right quick because the checkpoints are like three inches from each other. They really didn't. Oh, good god. They're also really small. And so a bit easy to. Where is it? There it is. They gave me the boatiest SUV ever. In a very low poly. Look, this track doesn't even doesn't blend at all. I know this is supposed to be the airport from GTA 4, but it definitely needs some refining. And is this just casually drive this trail? Like a third of the way there. Already and nothing real. What just fucking happened? Completely trashed the left front wheel just by. Where's the checkpoint? Good god, I. They're too close together. And that was. I don't know what happened there. I nudged. Shit just happened there. There. Good God! Fucking. I hate this map. I mean, I just nudged that bit of concrete there. It just and it threw the car and wrecked the tire. It. Ha Can we talk? Stop for a moment and talk about the fact that I don't have a left front tire and it doesn't seem to have affected the performance of this vehicle in any way. I'm actually entirely serious. The turning is not fucking hell. Whoever made this is an idiot. You can come within... It's too, way, way too easy to miss these checkpoints. This is one of the worst custom scenarios I've... Oh my god. Did I miss that one again? They pit the shittiest handling vehicle in the world. So bad is it that it literally its perform its handling performance has and I am entirely serious not been hurt by losing a tire. I can still steer just as well as I could earlier. And these checkpoints are so bloody tiny you can miss them like anything. And then it's just a matter of hitting reverse. And thank God there's they're so bloody close together, so I'm going to run through all 137 in a really short period of time. Wow, that, that over there, that looks so real. I could almost not tell the Udi's well. Where's the... Ch uh. point about this scenario again is the fact that the vehicle doesn't seem to have been harmed at all by losing the wheel. Wait, that's it? You're entering a land... Uh... Freedom. You're entering a land where there is not... 
not no details. Long exposure to slowed can cause eye damage. Collision mass is not perfect and not guaranteed. Enter at your own fuck you. I'm going to destroy this car. And you are going to shut the fuck up and let me do it. At least this thing isn't is very obviously a work in progress. Oh, uh, they kinda put down I'm not getting low frame rate problems anymore though. That's where Rogue would go. What I'm more curious about it's navigating the hyper low poly GTA 4 than I am about this this stupid race I just did. Look at this noise mess. I can see water through ground everywhere. I can't recognize anything from the game. If I just drive here, will I fall through? Nope, apparently not. At least that's reasonable. There's the Empire State Building. I remember this is GTA 4, not GTA 5. So in other words, this is the bad GTA, not the good one. I'm done. The car just ditched itself on nothing and won't move anymore. Well, thank you all for watching this video. Remember to like the video, favorite the video, share the video, and subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one. See you later.